This is my friend's 2012 MacBook Pro. It's been almost 13 years since he bought it. Initially, it performed very well, but over the time, it began to struggle with running the latest versions of macOS. Then we tried running Ubuntu on this Mac, and guess what? The performance was outstanding. Now, I want to give a chance to test out running the Arch Linux on this old Mac and see how it performs. The only requirements for this video is 8 gigs or higher USB drive. To create a bootable disk with Arch Linux, you can use your Windows or spare Mac to create a bootable USB. Now for this video, I'm using my HP gaming laptop. Then head over to the Arch website and click on the download button to get the latest Arch Linux ISO file. While it's downloading in the background, head over to this website and download the Rufus. Once both files are downloaded, place them on your desktop for easy access. Now connect your USB drive and open Rufus. And import the Arch Linux ISO file you downloaded. For the partition scheme, choose GPT and target system as UV and click on start. Once it's complete, I'm going to eject the USB drive and insert into the old MacBook Pro. Also, connect your Mac to the power source. Then restart your Mac and hold down the Option key until the boot menu or startup manager appears. You will see the bootable USB labeled as EFI boot with orange icon. Now use the arrow keys or the mouse to select it and press enter. If you don't see the USB boot option, restart your Mac again and this time hold command plus R to enter Mac OS recovery mode. Inside the recovery, go to Utilities, then choose the option that says Startup Security Utility and change the setting to allow booting from external media. Then restart your Mac and hold the Option key to enter the Startup Manager. After selecting the USB drive, the Grub menu will appear. Then select the first option and press enter to install Arch Linux. Now on your screen, you will see a terminal expecting for input. Now keep in mind that the mouse functionality is disabled and you have to rely on the keyboard for commands. Now type this command to increase the size of the console. Press enter to execute the command. Before installing Arch Linux, if your Mac is connected to the internet via Ethernet, use ping command to check for the connection. In my case, the Wi-Fi on this MacBook is not recognized, so I relied on the Ethernet connection. Then type this command to update the pacmin. Now type lsblk to list out all drives. In this case, you can see the two main drives. Now forget about the loops, just concentrate on the SDA or SDB. The SDA is the main drive where macOS has been installed and SDB is the bootable USB. We need to format the macOS drive to install Arch. 
I'm going to use GDisk. Then type X to enter into expert mode. Now type Z to erase the drive. Now it's time to install the Arch Linux. Now first type these two commands to install Arch Linux keyring and Arch install script. Now let's invoke the Arch install script to automate everything for us. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options and enter key for selection. Then set the system language by selecting your option. Then choose your locale. In my case, I'm going to leave the first three options at their default values. Then choose disk configuration and select the drive. I use XD4 file system. Now go back to the main user interface and make sure swap is enabled. Next, select the bootloader. You have four options to choose from. Use either systemd or the grub bootloader. I'm going to choose grub, which works better. Then set the hostname as Arch Linux. Then set the password for the root user. Then create a new user account. And add this user to the sudoers list for elevated privileges. Now scroll down and choose to confirm and exit. It's time to install the desktop environment. Select profile, type, and choose desktop. The Arch install offers many options to choose from, but for this demonstration, I will choose the GNOME desktop. Next, select the graphic drivers and choose all open source. Then select the audio option and choose the audio server. For best results on most computers, it's recommended to use Pipewire. If you wish, you can also install additional kernels, but for now, I will stick with the latest kernel. After that, select the network configuration and choose to use the default network manager. For additional packages, simply press slash followed by the package name and press the tab key to select it. You can search for any package with slash and install it. Then select your time zone to set the correct time on your system. Now go ahead and check all the options and haven't left anything blank. Once you have confirmed all the options, select install and wait for a few minutes for Arch script. To perform its magic. Once it's done, you will see the prompt to perform post installation steps. Select this option and press enter to launch the chroot environment and start customizing your new Arch installation. It's time to install some GUI applications like Firefox, VLC, LibreOffice and most essential packages. Now exit from the chroot environment and type this command to unmount the partitions. Once it's done, reboot your Mac by typing this command and eject the pen drive.
And that's it. Now we have successfully installed Arch Linux on your Mac. In terms of performance, Arch runs surprisingly very well on this 2012 MacBook Pro. I haven't encountered any major issues except the built-in Wi-Fi. The built-in trackpad gestures and keyboard work smoothly. The system also detected all hardware and installed the appropriate graphic drivers providing a great valent experience. The idle RAM usage of Arch is significantly lower compared to macOS and apps open faster as expected. Overall, using Linux on this old Mac seems worth it. And that's how you install Arch Linux on old Mac in under 10 minutes. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Rayo. I will see you in the next one.